I remember days where I would just ask my mom if I could skip ballet and not go. I just, I didn't like it, so I did quit. Um, I didn't sign back up for the fall. And so I, there was this one fall semester where I wasn't, in second grade, where I wasn't taking any dance. And then my mom was like, your very first ballet teacher is teaching at this new studio across the street. So we went and we watched the class for a bit. We talked to the studio owner um, and I decided to sign up and I think I probably went to class the next week or the next couple weeks after that. And now I would never, I could never quit. I would never dream of it. I'm too, I'm in too deep at this point. <laughs> It's a stress reliever, it's a huge stress relief. Um, it's an outlet for everything, no matter how bad the week has been or whatever's happened. Um, I always, like, dancing will make me feel so much better. It takes me to another place where I can, like, just not have to worry, and that feels really good. And I always will come out of rehearsals and class just much more positive and ready to do other, to take on whatever challenges and, like, things are happening. When I was in high school, I was dancing anywhere from 10 to 15 hours a week, and so I wanted to be able to continue. Um, a lot of the reason being because it feels good and it's fun, and it's also my only source of exercise. <laughs> Part of the reason I chose Emerson was because I knew I would be able to dance uh, while taking classes and like pursuing other things academically. So I got rehearsals pretty much every day um, and it's, it's great. I'm really happy about it. Dance orgs on campus at Emerson are the greatest um, because they're open to people of all majors and there are a lot of really talented dancers and like all of us are really passionate about dance and also very talented, even though we're doing like other things academically and like in the future, we still all share this passion, passion and it's great that like through these orgs we're able to continue performing and like learning and strengthening our abilities. There are a lot of tricks that I wish I could do, but physically, like the way the way my body is built, it's not possible because I don't have like my proportions are different, and so like you'll see like people with really really long flexible backs who can do like super cool things, and I just can't. Gene Kelly is one of my favorite dancers of all time. I will f fall into a loop watching clips from Singing in the Rain and other Gene Kelly films, um, just like him tapping, and then him on like his TV show. <laughs> Dancers spend so, so much time in rehearsals. The majority of our time is spent in rehearsals for years and years, and so little of that time is actually spent on stage and performing what it is we're practicing. You always hear those, um, the sayings like, don't give up, like those are everywhere. And like, keep working hard, you have to practice and work hard in order to get anywhere. I mean, every song and music in general, it all has its own voice and its own um, message or picture. Uh, and I think dance is a great, is like, is a way to paint the music. It's like painting the music, creating a visual for the music. So um, it's something that I love thinking about. There's the Michelangelo quote or something where he, he doesn't sculpt something from the rock, he finds the sculpture within the rock and just clears away all the excess stone until the sculpture comes out. So he, yeah, basically Michelangelo is always saying that, or he was, he said that the sculpture is already in the stone. It's just a matter of bringing it out. And that's sort of how I feel about dance when I'm choreographing. There's a dance, the dance is already in the music. It's just a matter of pulling it out and finding which moves and which, uh, yeah, which steps paint it the most, or represent it the most accurately.